Hi, Mitchell with Milano Music, and our pro tip of the day is going to be how to keep your trombone's valve moving nice and smooth. Now, if you don't have a safe table and something to protect the bell, the next best place to put your trombone when you're doing this is on a stand. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the slide off. Set it some, somewhere safe, like in the case. Your trombone's valve is a rotor, and thus you need rotor oil. Here at Milano Music, we have a couple of different varieties of rotor oil, and the one I'm going to be using today is Hetman 12. There are a couple different ways to get at the rotor in your trombone. You can either oil it from the receiver where the slide goes in. This way is a little bit trickier. Oil in and move the rotor so that it works its way through. The simpler way is going to be to set it, press the valve down, and take the slide off. One side of the tuning slide should be a straighter shot to the valve than the other. That's the one we want. I don't need to press the valve down, and I'm just going to let some oil go down it. Now, all of that oil flows to the bottom right next to the valve, but doesn't go through it. It's trapped. And when I press the valve, I work it, and the oil starts to go through. If your valve's a little bit sluggish, do this every other day until it starts working a little bit better. This is something you want to do regularly every other week. After you've put the rotor oil in, you want to use bearing and linkage oil. This is something that goes on every part on the outside of the valve that moves. If you use the valve and you hear some clicking, a lot of the time it's just the bare metal scraping against itself. To get any of these oils, or any of the variety of other oils we have in the store, check out the link below. Or come and check it out here, 38 West Main Street in Mesa, Arizona. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 480-827-1111.